today we will be studying about types of computer in this tutorial I am your computer teacher Roshan Kade we will be studying about the introduction classification features and we will discuss about and some of the assignments for grade 8 let's get started with a small overview computers are used according to our requirements the computer used for simple work might not be capable to do the complex calculations or gaming the computer that we use at home and the computer used in the scientific research or for the animation are totally different let's see why should we classify computers we should classify computers to know the area of use to save unnecessary use of hardware to estimate cost to specify the user's requirement and to know more about the computers let's classify the computers and read the features we classify the computers on the basis of work and function on the basis of size on the basis of brand and on the basis of model in grade 8 we will read about on the basis of work and function and on the basis of size and configuration on the basis of work computers are classified into three different types they are analog computers digital computers and hybrid computers let's read about analog computers analog computers are used to process analog data analog data is continuous in nature example temperature pressure speed weight voltage and depth are the analog data the computer which provide us with continuous information are called analog computer which represent physical quantities in the form of wave or in continuous form let's see the features of analog computer the speed of an analog computer is very high the computer are not reliable and do not display actual data these computers are difficult to operate and use these computers are easy to develop these computers have small capacity or sometimes no memory at all output generally is in graph or dials let's see about digital computer the computers which present physical quantities with the help of symbols or numbers and provide us discrete information are called digital computers it operates on input and output which are on or off type signals where on is 1 and off is 0 this means these computers work on binary system it process information on the basis of presence of electric charge if there is electric charge it is 1 and if there is no electric charge then it is zero in positive digital logic system it perform operations like addition subtraction multiplication division and logical operations there are some of the features of digital computer these computers are easy to use these computers are reliable analog computers were not reliable but digital computers are reliable these computers have large memory and storage capacity working speed of digital computer is slower as compared to analog computers these computers are divided into different categories such as personal computers mainframe computers and supercomputers which we will be reading later in this video the third type of computer is hybrid computers the computers which have qualities of both digital and analog computer are known as hybrid computers 
hybrid computers has the speed of analog and memory and accuracy of digital computer it is the combination of digital and analog computers and carries features of both type of computers used in specialized applications like petrol pump icu of hospital input in analog and output is in digital form for example uh, to take the vitals of a patient in icu the pulses are the in analog form and the monitor dis displays it in digital form some features of hybrid computers are it has combined feature of analog and digital computer these computers are reliable and provide accurate result these computers are fast and more reliable it is mainly used in robotics these are the special purpose computers now we will classify the computer in the basis of size on the basis of size there are four types of computer which are super computers mainframe computers mini computers and micro computers let's see about the super computers super computers are the most powerful computers in term of performance and data processing it has highest data processing and operational rate used for scientific and engineering applications these are specialized computer used by large organizations these computers are used for research and exploration purposes on 29th july 2015 president of the united states barack obama approved the development of an exa scale supercomputer examples of supercomputer are cray xmp cdc cyber 2003 Cray One, PA RAM, etc. We use supercomputers for space explorations, weather forecasting, earthquake studies, nuclear weapons testing, many other advanced researches. Let's see second and third type of computer on the basis of size. Second one is mainframe computers. which are not powerful as super computer but are quite expensive there's a reason behind this why it is expensive many large firms and government organizations use mainframes to run business and operations hundreds of users can work together with this computer at a time mainframe computers are the fastest computers with large data storage capacity it can process and store large amount of data banks educational institutions insurance companies use mainframe computers to store data about customers students etc some examples of mainframe computers are ibm 401 icl 2950 ibm 7090 discuss about mini computers mini computers are used by small businesses and firms also known as mid range computers these are small machines and can be accommodated on a disk this disk means hard disk these computers are not designed for a single user individual departments of a large company or organizations use mini computers for specific purposes for example a production uses mini computers for monitoring certain production process it is used for some specific processes if there is one production department whole production is not monitored by mini computers mini computer observes or monitors certain part of the process example k202 texas instrument ti 990 sts 92 ibm mid range etc it possesses most of the features of mainframe computer but it is small in size micro computers these 
micro computers are widely used and the fastest growing computers these are cheapest among the other three types of computers these computers are especially designed for general purposes like entertainment education personal work etc apple dell samsung etc are the companies which produce microcomputers in this time a microcomputer is a computer with a cpu as a microprocessor designed for individual use microcomputer is smaller than a mainframe and a mini computer microcomputer is further divided into three categories they are pc or desktop laptop or notebook or handheld computers tablets or mobile the computers we use in our schools for practicals the mobile we use the computer you are using right now is a example of micro computers thank you